Well, it's all over but the mopping up. We got a definite ID on Kutkin's body. He won't be coming back for an encore. According to Intel, all that's left of his operation is the small fry anyway. The same for Vezir Jades. The Russian authorities have started making arrests, and every kilo of missing plutonium has been accounted for. Because of his help, Barsakov has been granted total immunity in the matter. The last report I got, he and his daughter have left Moscow and have moved to Smolensk to take over operation of Putkin Spa. Sly old crook. He claims he's retired from business. What business that would be, of course, he declines to say. Somehow I think we haven't heard the last of Lukin. Susan sends her regards. Rest up, team. You deserve it. Clock out. <laughs> Maxime was a fool, but he had excellent taste. I will be quite comfortable Look here. Young. Look yes, what, what, what is it? A matter for your attention, Lukian, concerning our branch office in Odessa. Can't it wait? I am weary for my trip. It is urgent, Lukian. The Ukrainians, the brothers, uh, they say they won't pay. <laughs> Mr. Clark, it has been a pleasure working together, yes? But we should part company while we are still friends. And friends do not spy on each other, hmm? The communists, privacy they never understood. But you are American. You understand how precious a man's privacy can be. Farewell, Mr. Clark. The year is 2001. The world is a very dangerous place. As the fragments of the former Soviet Union slide deeper and deeper into chaos, the forces of crime and terror expand to fill the vacuum. There is war in the Balkans, war in the Middle East, war in a dozen hotspots around the world. Outnumbered and under siege, the Western democracies desperately struggle to keep the growing disorder from spilling across their borders. On the front lines of this strange war is the Counter-Terrorism Task Force, codenamed Rainbow. Operating out of bases on both sides of the Atlantic, Rainbow Thanks, operatives are poised to strike at a moment's notice anywhere on the globe. Although their existence is secret, their combined courage and vigilance have saved the lives of millions. Yet even now, a new enemy looms in the East. An enemy greater than any rainbow has ever faced. An enemy able to strike when and where he pleases. Bound only by his own hatred and ambition. An enemy armed with the most fearsome weapon known to man. Target acquired. Go, go, go! 